Question 17 is a fairly typical potential divider question. It says the following circuit is set up and the reading on the voltmeter is one of these options. So what we need to determine here is what is the potential difference between this point in the circuit and this one over here. So what we're going to do is just, I'm just going to try and go through this fairly and uh, clearly and quickly if I can. And um, the key thing is that the um, the top of the circuit here is at 12 volts and the bottom is at 0 volts. When we see 12 volts written, what we're talking about is a difference in potential energy effectively between two points. Or um, I suppose it's technically just a, a difference of electrical potential rather than electrical potential energy. Um, so 12 volts means 12 joules per coulomb, which means if there was a coulomb of charge there at this point, it would have 12 joules of energy. And anywhere along here, it's always going to have that one coulomb of charge. It's always going to have 12 joules of energy. Um, so the potential, the electrical potential there is 12 volts. The electrical potential there is 12 volts. And if that one coulomb of charge traveled down through these resistors, it would give up some of its energy um, as heat uh, in the resistors. And by the time the coulomb of charge got to the bottom of the circuit, it would have zero joules of energy left. And so the potential, the electrical potential at the bottom, sorry, is zero volts there and also zero volts here. And so electrons, charges, one coulomb of charge would travel back to the battery, pick up more energy, and so the circuit would continue. So the question is, what is the electrical potential energy right here? And what is it here so we can determine the difference between these two points? Well, these two resistors are both equal in size. They're both 6 volts, so they share the potential equally. They both get the same amount of energy, which means that the charges, one and coulomb of charges that travels through here, it will give up 6 joules of energy. And so by the time it reaches here, because it at 12 to begin with, and it gives up 6 to this resistor, it means it's got 6 joules per coulomb left, or 6 volts. So the electrical potential at this point is 6 volts. And then, of course, it would give up the rest down here, the same amount, and uh, go back to the battery. So that's our electrical potential there. Over here, it's a little bit more complicated. We have the same amount of energy, 12 volts, and that's given up uh, at first to uh, a 2 ohm resistor and then to a 4 ohm resistor. So by the time the 1 coulomb of charge travels all the way to the bottom, it has lost all of its energy. But because this resistor is smaller than this one, it loses less here. So how much less? Well, because this resistor is half the size of this one, it loses half as much energy here as it does here. So effectively, we need, we need to split 12 volts into a ratio of 4 to 2, or effectively, that's the same as 2 to 1. Well, that's quite simple. Um, a ratio of 2 to 1, when you're talking about 12, means that this um, resistor would receive 4 volts, of energy and this resistor would receive 6 volts of energy. And so because of that, if a coulomb of charge travels down through here with 12 volts and it loses 4 volts, that means it has... Oh, I've realized I've made uh, an error. Um, I don't mean 6, um, I mean um, 8 volts there. Sorry, so there's 8 volts there. Uh, it would give up twice as much energy to the 4 ohm resistor uh, as the 2 ohm resistor. Sorry about that. So as I was saying, the 1 coulomb of charge travels through this, this resistor, it loses 4, which means it has 8 volts left. And so it gives up the rest of it to this one over here. So therefore, the potential difference between this point and this one is the difference between these two numbers, which is 2 volts. So our answer is 2 volts.